going to do a, a few quick little testing videos uh, for you here so that you can work out how to use your test kits. Um, I'm going to start with uh, the strips because that's a very popular way of testing these days and uh, I would highly recommend this as a matter of fact because they're, they're really very accurate um, and do a great job. This one here checks seven things at once. Now that's not what you need for your normal swimming pool because it's testing things like uh, calcium hardness and cyanuric acid and there's just no need for you to test that at home. Um, with your chest test strips it's very important that you keep it dry inside there. So get the lid back on straight away and don't use wet fingers when you pull it out because if they get damp they'll all start to change colours and they won't change colours when you want them to. Now this pool's just had a big dose of chlorine so it's a bit unfair. These are all going to go off somewhat but you'll get a good reaction from them. You can see that change in colour as we look at it. So very important that you know which uh, uh, pad lines up with which colour to compare it to. You see here at the start we have total hardness and then total chlorine, free chlorine, pH, total alkalinity and at the bottom is cyanuric acid. Cyanuric acid is the pool stabiliser, stops the sun taking the chlorine out. So here it shows the finger on this which is very helpful, you hold it down at the bottom. The first pad we're looking at is the total hardness and if we compare the top pad we can see that it's around the uh, 500 mark and we normally do this the other way around but the second one is the total chlorine. The chlorine can come in a free form, see the total chlorine, this is actually very dark in the middle, it's actually up very high, you see the next one around the free chlorine is 20, it's very high as well. So. When your chlorine's that high, it is actually going to really muck up the accuracy of your other tests. Now, total chlorine is the all forms and all types of chlorine. Free chlorine is the good usable chlorine. It is possible for chlorine to get locked up and unusable. So if you get a big difference, if you get you know, a, a high level up around 5 of the total chlorine and the free chlorine is 0, um, then you've probably got too high a stabiliser. That's the test down the bottom. Or something's gone on which has locked the chlorine up and often the way to break that and free it up is to put a big shock dose of liquid chlorine in but if the stabilizer level is high like it's way over 100 or even over 200 then you will need to lower that stabilizer level down so that your chlorine will work effectively okay next one along that's your free and your total next one along is ph this has gotten a little bit old it's gone the wrong color now uh, but the ph was sort of it was okay in the mid range and the next one along after that is total alkalinity Again, around 120, that's looking good. And then the very last tab is the cyanuric acid, and again, that's high. That's up at 150, matching that one there. You want somewhere between 60 and 100. So they're the test kits. If you're just doing this at home, a test strip that just does free chlorine and pH and total alkalinity is probably all that you're gonna need on a regular basis. But over the summer, I would recommend taking your water to a pool shop uh, or somewhere that does water testing once a month um, to get that looked at. Uh, or have someone come around and have a look at your pool once a month so they can monitor the other levels. You don't have to worry about them at home though, but certainly the pH, the chlorine level, and the total alkalinity are things you can adjust and take care of yourself. So there you go. Quick little um, how-to of how to use your test strips and what testing is necessary.